So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Oh, when she comes. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna break this shit down. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 19 of Life is Strange True Colours. Last time we begun the final chapter of the main story, which seems to be taking place inside Alex's head as her own insecurities get the better of her. We've been joined by Gabe as we've relived some of our past experiences, including the death of our mother and the night our father left home. In reality, Alex has shot and left down the mine, although does seem to still be alive. Okay, so where we left off, um, we're in our sort of third recollection parts and uh, there's Gabe over there, we're in one of the orphanages that Alex was in during her youth, so uh, let's have a look around. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Shoo shoo. How are you holding up, shoo? can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Guess I missed a few days. <laughs> okay. We weren't, we weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters heads. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God. They put me on so many meds. Hmm. Erprazole, 15 milligrams once a day. Lithium. Methylphenidate. Risperidone. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. <laughs> they used to say this place wasn't a prison. Mm, it's not, get off that vibe, Maybe does it? Maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. Residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside of designated free time. Glass and silverware to remain in the canteen do not bring these into the dormitory. Non-resident guests are not permitted in the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9pm every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere to any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. That sounds lovely. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Um, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. Mm. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? All right. We got ourselves a memory. Guitar strings. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. Oh, that's, that's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking good. rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! Sounds like a lovely place. Alright, let's have a look at that. Uh, yeah, that's one we looked at last time, wasn't it? Um, 
Hmm. Ah. They didn't get it. I wasn't just being a brat and I wasn't acting out for attention. The, that guitar was fucking sk- sacred to me. Scared to me. The only thing I could do to keep myself from losing it in the dorms every night, especially as I got older and my whole thing with emotions got worse, but they didn't see that. They saw a little psycho glaring daggers, making demands. I think that's what they wanted to see. I'd forgotten how difficult the dorms were at night. We all had nightmares. Had to live this sort of life that lent you in an orphanage without getting through some pretty nightmarish stuff. But the difference was I had everyone else's nightmares. I just needed to hold my guitar, to press my fingers against the strings, feel the vibration in my belly. That was the only way I could get back to sleep. Oh dear. Okay, I think we seems we're just about done. Here's a monkey. Monkey! Go talk to Gabe. Can I talk to Gabe? Uh, take it, this is it then. Sit in the foot locker. Just the background music's really creeping me out though. Which obviously I'm sure is the intention. Oh my days, man. It's creepy as anything. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. This is just torture. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I I really do. But there's just something. <laughs> Fucking hell. Broken. Wrong. With her. Oh, fuck me. This game used to be so wholesome. <laughs> it's not so wholesome anymore. I'm sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at Dad. Miss Mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Oh. Make it better. That's some big brother talk. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. I'm glad that episode one wasn't the last we saw of Gabe. He was a great character. Oh. Are we finally out of the trippy... This trippy <laughs> era? 
I, I, I fall. I'm much of a fallen now. Can you see the top? Oh, see, now I'm getting Until Dawn vibes. I don't like that either. <laughs> we had a dude like that game. Obviously, it was a great game, but ugh, it's creepy. Be a Wendigo hiding down here. We got light. It's tough getting all the way at this man with the amount of injuries that she's got. Hey. <laughs> Be hella depressing if the entire mine just exploded. Like, oh yeah, all the gas build up in the mine. Immediately ignited. Alex burned to death. Alas. Here. Okay. Oh, phone's broke. God damn it. Okay. You broke my damn phone, you son of a bitch. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Alright, stagger along. Mines growing into mines, just like Judd said. I'm gonna spit out after you say that name, he's dead to me. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. I mean, it's not decomposed, so it must be recent. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Hmm. How long has this stuff been down here? Mm, cigarette butts as well. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. no! No 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 no! Come on no 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 no! I can do this. I can do this. Okay. What's what's that like? Okay, that's something. That's eerie. Aliens. That's what we need. Chapter five plot twist. Aliens are responsible for everything. The They, uh, you know, they brainwashed Jed into betraying us. That's what they did. No. It's never gonna be that simple. Oh. Alright, boys, getting close. Oh, it's a flashback. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. 
This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This stick is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No. My teams have never quit a dick this deep before. We finish the job. Hmm. Steady goes. Steady. So did Jed cause the accident? Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. Oh. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. Oh, did he abandon them? Is that what that was about? <laughs> smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Because that was the big deal about Jed being like the town hero, is that he went back in and saved everyone, so was that like a lie? And they wanted to covered up What is that? Is it like a flare or something? Oh, sounds metal. Like a is it something like emotions attached to it or something? Looks like oh. Like a, oh. Shit. He was... He was in the mine. Holy shit. Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! Chen, you gotta stop, man. It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's, uh... I wasn't expecting that. Jesus, it's a lot of time got together. And we made it. Well, that's good. No, another reason to hate Jed. Other than him betraying us, getting Gabe killed, shooting us, leaving us down a mine, getting our dad killed. He's nearly wiped out the whole Chen family. Pretty psychopath. Okay. Apparently that pendant was actually one of the collectibles, by the way. Uh... Well, this is unmissable. It's actually only one more left in the game, which is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, she on a mission now. She on a mission. She's gonna take this motherfucker down and I'm with her all the way. Hang on, can we? Oh, our phone's working again now, that's nice. Uh, let's go flip through everything. So it was a wonderful spring festival, thanks to everyone who made it. Such a beautiful celebration, I spilled the beans, you got a rose. I know someone who might have gotten one, I think I know someone who might have gotten as well. So I hang in there, bud. Can we brag for someone else? I'll see why not, as long as that someone has given their permission. Hey, set to have permission to brag about the rose you got last night from your crush. Well, come on, ma'am. I bet Steph wishes she could reward that. But it's pretty funny. Hello, as many of you know, I'm a freelancer for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm writing an article about this evening's incredible performance at the Spring Festival, but I can't track down the band's name. Anybody know? Hey, man, so we aren't, like, a band as such, so we don't really have a name yet. Hey, no worries, can I get your names for the article? Man, I'm Steph Gingrich, the brains of the operation. My muscle is Alex. Well, she's gonna die when she sees this. I'm so sorry I worried you all. Hey, 
Anybody's seen Alex today? We agreed to meet up last night, but then she ghosted. Super not like her, kind of freaking out. Oh no, if you cancelled to Jason, call cell, no response. I'll try 911 next. That's chopping up at scene, I keep posted, will you? Oh, you son of a bitch. You dirty, dirty bastard. I hate you. But Lantern will not be open for lunch today on the account of the town council vote. We'll see you for happy hour. Yes on jobs, yes on prosperity, yes on expansion. You do realize the expanding mining operations outside of Haven is a temporary fix, right? That's not even considering the environmental impact. Do you have any proof? What do you want, a bibliography? I don't keep citations at the ready of the off chance I can someone who isn't willing to accept the truth. That's what I thought. Mm, that's people all over, isn't it? No well, neighbours, thank you for making last night's spring festival such a resounding success. Now comes another annual tradition, keeping cleaning up after ourselves. I need a few volunteers to help me spruce up the park in the wake of last night's festivities. Work begins as soon as today's council meeting concludes. Drop your name in the hat. Sure, why not? I'm down. We're pretty hungover, but Jesse and I might be recovered by this afternoon. Sends it to yes. Take care of you first, but if you're feeling for feeling up for it, we'd love to help you both. Go open the bar. Sorry, darling. Oops. Well, that bar's not opening today, son. Uh, okay. Alex, please pick up. Just let us know you're okay as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure you just lost your phone, but Ryan's freaking out. Okay, we're both freaking out. We just want to make sure you save calls, Alex. Okay. Um, let's look at the pendant. For most of my life, I've, I've known what other people were feeling. Couldn't escape it. Sometimes it felt like I was drowning, flailing to keep my head above water and sinking anyway. In all that time, the only person whose feelings I really wanted to understand was you, Dad. And then I found you at the bottom of the world, and I finally felt what you were feeling, and what's messed up is your emotions were just so normal. Human, I guess. Fear, regret, same stuff as anybody else. Everyone else. Same stuff I've been draining in since I was a kid. Shouldn't take an empath to know that, but I think I needed to feel it before I could let you go. And now the only person whose feelings I still need to understand is me. And during my time here... I've come to realize Ooh, what smack makes her in the face as well. so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. I'm so excited to bring this up down. History. Trying to walk in like, loyalty, bitch, bitch. Pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Come on, Alex, keep the door in. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us no, when for I it. say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Oh, way she comes. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna break this shit down. Fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Go on. That motherfucker. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? He done fucking shot me and left the room. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Mm. 
Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why don't you roll your eyes at me, you son of a bitch? Why aren't any of you saying anything? We all knew to. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> the things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying Pank's to... Pank's got the evidence. Was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. You've got to be taking the piss. Come on, but guys. We all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and smacker smacker make your life seem less unfair i want to smack her can i smack her you know there's proof of the cover-up you had pike arrest me to suppress the evidence officer pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse perhaps you were looking for evidence and i found it which is why you and jed tried to threaten me into silence dad do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. Smack him as well. I could be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Well, father figure, shoot someone oh, and leave it in a fucking mine. Sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Mm <laughs> hmm. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. Do you all trust him? I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. My queen. Good okay, stuff. Can't be without stuff. Come on, Pike, you've got my back. Ducky. I would like to speak. Come on, Kink. Come on, Kink. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now... Her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. That's my man. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Oh, come on, Eleanor. Sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Jesus Christ. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. 
I don't want any more of this. But they res killed Gabe. The response would be different if we didn't take her anger. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. Oh, thank you. <sighs> there's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'd be interested to see how this could also play if you chose different Don't things. Worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. Bike. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah, not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove oh, yourself from... cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with it. Hmm. Oh, oh, Lord. Come on, Ryan. It concerns me that a voting member... I'm real sorry. Are you? Bullshit. I don't believe this. Getting ridiculous. Does he not believe me? Why are you doing this? I'm not your lapdog anymore. Deputy Pike, I am not responsible for any frustrations. My dad is not a murderer. Are you kidding me? Are you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? You bastard. I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not going to let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. Oh, oh.